Installation of Control and Managed File Transfer Deployment Package Version 9019200, or older, fails on Control and Enterprise Manager Server 9020, or newer. Once a product reaches the end of support date, customer support will direct customers to upgrade to a more current version, release, or service pack of the product. Because it is not possible to upgrade from any version of advanced file transfer, or from the 9000 version of managed file transfer directly to version 9020, you must install an intermediate version, 9018 or 9019, of MFT on the agent before upgrading to version 9020. For this, it is necessary to install on Control and Enterprise Manager the MFT deployment package for the required intermediate version, so that the latest version of the product can be deployed to the agent. When trying to install Control and MFT deployment package versions 9018 and 9019, with or without fix packs, on a Control and Enterprise Manager server 9020 and above, even connected with the user it was used to install the Enterprise Manager server, the installation fails with the error below. The error occurs because MFT deployment package expects to find, under Enterprise Manager Home Directory, a JRE directory with Java runtime environment for the installation to start. Starting from version 9020, Enterprise Manager doesn't have the JRE directory on that location, as this version uses a common Java for control and products. We are going to use the Linux environment for the live demo. However, the same procedure also applies to Windows operational system, with minor changes. It's possible to see that the user logged in is the same user used to install the control and enterprise manager. And the product is correctly installed. If we try to run the MFT deployment package 9019200 setup, it will fail with the error message. In order to avoid that, before running the MFT deployment package installation, run the following command. This will create a symbolic link directory to the common JRE. Run the MFT deployment package installation again. After installation is completed, user can remove the directory link by running the following command. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our YouTube channel for more videos like this.